fish tank aquarium people this is part four the final part of the sea clear modify custom build here if you don't understand what I mean I mean is that I bought a sea clear tank and I have modified it to my needs and specifications as you can see I had success in bonding the the two the two uh, supports in the in the tank here. So the tank has its two supports to help you know help keep the tank from bowing out. Um, this is the final product. As you can see, the the aquarium looks really nice now. I um, here's a better view here of the A crate incorporation I've done. Some believe in A crate, some don't. But as you can see, it has turned out really nice. So there's proper gas ventilation exchange for the aquarium now. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned in the last video I was going to uh, showcase these LED lights I bought from Amazon. Um, they actually are really nice lights. I am really pleased with them. Um, I should make you guys aware uh, there's more than one seller who sells them. They uh, have different names or different brand names they sell under. Um, I think the thing is, is because Amazon, you have to have a UP, UPC code to sell anything on Amazon. So whoever these sellers are who get these, they, they come from China, imported from China. And uh, so these sellers get it from China and they sell them to you uh, or to, to the sellers. Long story short, they get it from China. Uh, with that being said, China has different manufacturing standards than the U.S. does. So let me, let me show you the boxes. I have two boxes here. Here's one and here's two from two exactly the same light is from two different sellers and yeah it's exactly the same light um, as you can see from one seller the light came up pretty beat up and the other seller it came pretty nice um, do your research because the sellers that I got to, to get these um, were located in the US so I only had to wait three days to get them like I said before uh, they come from China so there's some people in China who sells these and you know they're only around 15 bucks and the problem is you buy them and then you have to wait a whole month to finally get them but in my case I was smart I did my research and I you know I'm an Amazon Prime user so they said I could have it by Tuesday so these were both US um, distributors but they just got it from from China I'll tell you this though I should have went with the first seller and bought two at the same time but instead I only bought one just to try it out but I should have gotten two because this other seller sells probably a return product of the same thing because they're kind of weird because here's the weird part okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this okay this this light over here uh, you can see on the side here if I can get it in the focus on the side here we have a power button now watch what happens when I uh, push the power button it's touch sensitive so okay it turns off so white white and blue blue off back to white now this one from the other different you know same light different seller okay off so blue blue white white off has a backwards cycle versus that one so far so good though I I had the, the first one for at least a five days now and it has worked really well 
not overheating, nothing, just super nice. Uh, I have yet to try out this other one, but I'm kind of skeptical for the light sequence is backwards and the box came in all beat up. But, <laughs> but as you can see, if you look at the aquarium, it has some really nice lighting inside the aquarium. It looks really good. I mean, these, these things are only 3.5 watts and they give really good lighting to the aquarium. You can see everything in the the blue light. I'll tell you this though, the blue lights on these are a lot brighter than the the marine land because I've had a marine land LED light and the blue lights on these are a lot brighter than the marine land. But yeah, here's the finished product. After all the trial and error, everything is finally put together. This is this is a C clear 30 gallon uh, showcase combo. Um, I got it for under two hundred dollars. I uh, modified the lid, I cut the lid off because I wanted an open lid because I want to give my aquarium a proper gas exchange and because uh, I'm a true believer in egg crate as you can see and uh, it seems to be working really nice and then the fish I have jumped out or the egg crate works really well I'm keeping them in um, but it, it, I may have mentioned in the first video the whole, another reason why I cut the lid off is because you know, algae builds up on the, the inside of a, a tank pretty good because of the water evaporation. And even, as you can see here with my two acrylic braces uh, to keep the tank from bowing out. You know, the, let me get a little bit closer to here. See, look at this. There's already build up in there. Already build up. Lucky enough, it's only on these two pieces, so hope it doesn't become an eyesore but and I mentioned to you before I do not use epoxy glue you use the uh, acrylic cement and as you can see from my uh, epoxy experience right here I got some epoxy residue left over from the the epoxy experiment and I don't know how to get rid of it and it's quite the ice war, but it's not too much. You can't really, as you can see, zoomed out away. You know, you can't really see it, but I just know it's there. And someone's going to probably say something about it. But there it is. I, uh, guys, have any questions? Go ahead and ask me. After this experience, I've learned a lot, and uh, I think this is the first video on YouTube that does feature these uh, these LED uh, lighting systems. But like I said, they both come from China. You've got to do your research on which seller is the best to get it from, unless you want to wait a whole month to get it directly from China. But there you go. Um, that's the end, and I hope you've enjoyed the build, and hope it uh, helps you with your modifications or build that you would like to, to do in the near future. Uh, see you later.